Hey guys, in my last video we looked at how to add table headers into our table and add captions above it, over here and over here, using the th tags and the caption tags. Now in this video I will be talking about uh, how to customize your table width how, and I'll talk about call span and row span tags, uh, not tags, it's uh, HTML attributes. Uh, you'll get it when I show you. So firstly, let's look at the easiest one of the three, the width. Now the width, all you need to do, just like uh, remember when I changed the width of my image, sushi, so that it's smaller along with the height. Just like that, all we need to add is an HTML attribute in the table, just like border. So let's type width equals double quotes and then inside it uh, add for example 500 and save it work and go to our browser and refresh. There we go. The width of our table increased to 500 which looks a bit too big so let's change it to for example 300 we'll see how that looks no that's too small 400 <coughs> excuse me better that's okay yeah i could maybe narrow it down to 370 350 but i'll leave it at that okay the next let's uh create a new table called uh ingredients and how to make that sushi. So I'll say for example uh, sooner roll and on the left and on the right I'll list the ingredients. So what we need is a table tag and give it a border and give it some space and close it and inside that let's uh, forget about the captioned for now tr give it some space close it and I'll indent so that it's easier to see and on my right I'll type in table header th and a uh, name of sushi close it and I'll have another one th that says uh, ingredients this is going to look a bit weird for a table but it's okay and on below it another table row, give it some space, not too much space, and close it, and in between we'll add table data, so td, td, and let's have three of these, there we go, so the first td is going to be the name of my sushi, uh, what should I do, California roll, California near roll, and on my right is going to be the ingredients. So, uh, ingredient one is rice. What? Well, we, yeah, rice. And uh, TD rice. What do we need next? No, I put it in the wrong place because that's in TD. Let's give it some space so that it's easier to see. There we go. Rice. And over here, we're going to type in seaweed. I could have another one, TD. Oops. Is that wrong? Seaweed? Oh, it's a seaweed. And salmon. Yeah, that would do for now. And there's still uh, avocado, there's mayonnaise, maybe there's sesame seeds, but it's okay for now. Three would do. And we'll have another table row. And uh, four more, and this is going to be the name. Give it some space so it's easy to see. Uh, uh, what should I do? Salmon roll, rice. That's going to be the same thing. Salmon roll. Okay. Forget salmon roll. Let's make it. Salmon, just salmon. 
you need uh, rice and maybe you need vinegar if you don't have sushi rice vinegar yep and salmon oh, I love salmon okay let's save the work and check it out in my browser oh. okay my mistake before we do anything let's give it a space between these two tables so after the end tag of my first table and before my start tag of my next table let's add in uh, not HR it's adding BR there to give it some line breaks so BR and BR oops control control S and bang that's better now the on my uh, table on the left table is a row or column I'm not sure I think it's a row uh, the name of the sushi is correct and the California roll and salmon's right but then the ingredients header I want it so that it spreads all along here up from rice to salmon and at the moment the ingredients is only uh, going up to rice now we could change this and in order to do so we'll add a thing called a call span a call span is short for column span because I think that's the column and that's the row yeah I think them right and what we need to do is in our th for ingredients there we'll give it an HTML attribute just like a border just like the width or the height so space and just write call span equals and give it a number the number is the number of uh, columns you want to give so that's one that's two and that's three so I'll type in three here save it and oh, oh sorry I wrote call pan it's supposed to be call span call span equals three now there we go the three columns which was on the ingredients place merged together and now the ingredients header is in the at the center of all three which looks better so when you want to merge the columns together or give a specific uh, table header or a table data more column space we just need to add this uh, call span attribute and give it a number of columns you want to add now what if I wanted more space to write my ingredients for my California roll so uh, I'll give it some space I'll put in another TR between my California roll and salmon and I'll type in Yep, TD. Uh, give it more 3D. And in here, we don't need to write anything because it's still under the California roll sushi. Uh, give it some space so that it's easy for me to see where it is. And there's rice, there's seaweed, there's salmon. We could write vinegar. We could write uh, avocado. I think that's right. And no, okay, it's not in mayonnaise. Oh, what the heck that's fine there we go and now check this out over here we have uh, the California rule and we have six ingredients for it however just like <coughs> sorry just like the ingredients we want to merge these rows together so that anyone looking at my table can see that eat vinegar avocado and mayonnaise is also an ingredient for California roll so what we do is go to this California roll table header which is table data which is over here and then instead of coal span we give it row span so space and type row span equals and because this time we're only giving it one more extra rows, rows we're all typing two in between the double quotes there we go save our work and refresh there oh right and 
because there's an extra TD here which I don't need. I'll delete that we made the table with, but let's delete that and refresh. Bang. There we go. So that was a quick tutorial. Hope it was quick. Okay, it's not quick. That's going to take ages for me to upload on 1080p. Oh, it takes like an hour because my upload speed is so bad. And now by talking about this, it's going to make my... It's going to make it worse. Okay, so that was a quick tutorial on how to increase the width of your table. Add uh, extra column to a specific column. So merge columns using call span and merge rows using row span. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.